Hey there, Poké fans! Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our season rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. Happy Tuesday, first and foremost. But before we get started, I just have a couple of announcements that we're going to be going for today. So we're going to be doing six matches for the rest of the week, and this is just for timekeeping sakes. I do like having more than five, but having at this point, having eight matches per video, I don't know if you guys are gonna actually wanna watch eight, uh, but it is up to you. Let me know down in the comments down below. Right now, we're gonna be doing six for the rest of the month. We are above or a little ahead of schedule, like match wise, so we shouldn't have anything to worry about there. Uh, second thing, we are gonna be saying goodbye to the Groudon team after this video. Kyogre and his team, is going to be starting up on Wednesday. So you guys will have a little bit more of a switch up between teams and we're going to see what we do with today's meta with Groudon, or not Groudon, but Kyogre in the rain team. Uh, there's that. That's the only thing that's, I have. So just to reiterate, six matches per video for the rest of the month. And we'll be starting Kyogre tomorrow. And remember, no video on Saturday. I do have to work overtime. So there, there's nothing I could do about that. I don't get home in time on Friday to be able to record anything, to have it uploaded for you guys before I have to go to bed and get up and go to work. As unfortunate as that sounds, I just can't do anything about it. So before the video gets started, please consider leaving a like on the video, comment and subscribe. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And let's get into our matches. Yeah, we got Rillaboom, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Incineroar, Dondozo, and Eternatus. Interesting. I don't think it's a Trick Room-esque team, but the Dawn kind of makes me worried a little bit. We do have ways to dealing with him though, so we do have a counter. Uh, Fluttermane is easy-ish. Uh, I don't want to bring in Screamtail and Tornadoes. Screamtail right now is kind of on a crutch. Like we were we were talking about Screamtail in the Discord, and uh, I was suggested to do like Encore or Disable. And like the only reason why I'm not doing that is in case if I can hit with Taunt, and Taunt is usable on a lot of different mons, and I can survive one, but I can't survive a second, especially if it's on a Prankster. So struggle after that, which then makes it even worse. Okay, let's go Hornadus Ogre Pond to Fluttermane to Chi and Pal. We'll leave Groudon and Screamtail in the back. I don't really necessarily need my legend, my restricted in this match. Eternius does seem to be able to be taken down pretty easily. I just need to create a scenario where I can bring out Chi and Pao safely without it being knocked out right away. I can't read those. Eternius and Sinroar. Deserting pressure. Mold Breaker. Now Intimidate's gonna come out and it's gonna take a hit on Ogre Palm, which is really, really bad. But I can do the Tailwind, swap to Flower Main, and Incineroar can't really do anything to me, and I negate whatever Eternius is gonna do. So hopefully I have a way to come back. Fake Out does nothing. Tailwind goes off. So now out speed. And what does Eternius do? Positive power. I don't know. Oh, defense rose. Special defense. That's it. All right, if that's all you got, I'm gonna protect Terra Moonblast right into Eternius. A plus one shouldn't be. So bad to counter, especially this way. I don't know the move set though. Protect on Tornadus, that way he doesn't get knocked out right away. Protect on the Eternity. Oh, okay. Good call, because the Moonblast was going to go right into that slot. What does. Oh, Snarl! Okay. It is going to lower down Fluttermane's special attack one stage. Let's go ahead and Bleak Wind Storm and Moonblast to kind of make up for the, uh, the damage loss. Moonblast goes first. 
right into that slot. Does get the KO with the crit. I kind of want to know if that's a, a one hitter outside of the crit. Bleak Wind Storm comes in next. No speed drop, but Spider Man ignores the snarl. That's dope. And now they get the clue that I have uh, my uh, covert cloak. Um, I don't know if I'm just that lucky. We're going to see. Is it a DC on my end or a DC on their end? It is a DC on their end. I don't know if it's just a disconnect or they rage quit it. I'm not sure. Um, but we take those. So that counts because I get I did knock down on mine, but I didn't get to see the rest was in the in the back. So that's unfortunate. Let's move on. Okay, we got Indity Mail, Urshifu, Incineroar, Tornadus, Shadow Rider, and Archelodon. Okay. Okay. I um let's bring in Tornadus Chin Pao first. Fluttermane for the back. And I kind of want to bring in Groudon. Groudon's kind of telling me to bring it in because it would take down Incineroar and Archelodon. But if I do that, I can't misuse my Terra. I'm bringing in Chi and Pao to counter Tornadus on their side. And I can still do a ton of damage to Archelodon because even with the uh, defense boost, Sacred Sword goes through that. So it doesn't apply all the time. I I want to see that Psychic Search still comes out on Indity Mail. I think he still has that ability. I just don't know what else he has. Yeah, we're we're gonna bring in Groudon. We'll leave Ogre Pawn in the back. Now we're gonna bring Groudon because of the fact that we can sort we can set up Sword Saints if we need to. We can Terra Fire if we need to. Which if it's depending on the Urshifu, if it's Single Strike, we'll be able to handle it no problem. But if it's Rapid Strike, we're not Terran at all uh, with Groudon. We're not gonna be able to live. Okay, it's Indity and Shadow Rider. Okay. So, Psychic Surge. As one kicks off first, because it's the faster one. Then Chien Pao. Yep, Psychic Surge. So, no priority can hit. Uh... No priorities can be hit on either side. Except for Tornadus. Tornadus is kind of tough like that. Uh, we're going to Ice Spinner, and I think I'm going to go straight for uh, Ice Rider. Withdraws, okay. And you're going to bring out Incineroar. Yep. I mean, it's a good call. Excellent call, but I am going to remove the field here. Incineroar is going to take a little bit of damage here. There is no follow me. So what is that little guy going to do? Nice spinner. It's not very effective, but there doesn't have to be. We're going to make the weirdness disappear. It activates the trick room. Okay. Like, it makes sense. I, I don't mind that at all. And we're going to Sacred Sword the Incineroar, because we're going to go Terra Ghost. Now, Tailwind is up, which means all of my Pokemon have double speed, so I can't do anything at this present time, but I'm preventing myself from getting hit by Fake Out. Since I know three Pokemon, I do not believe I need to secure anything with Groudon right now. It's just unfortunate that Tailwind went off and they, they did the thing. So I'm going to protect. Fake out goes to Chi and Pao. Expanding force goes to the protected Tornadus. Sacred Sword into Incineroar. It's going to be a little bit... It's going to hit a lot. Even at minus one, it's going to do some damage. Uh, we're going to swap. No, we're not. What we're going to do instead is go ahead and activate... You know what? Let's do Rain Dance. And I'm going to Sucker Punch the Entity. 
Even at minus one, I should be able to KO it. Switches the Incineroar. Shadow Rider. Yep. Okay. Nerve. My team is too, too nervous to eat berries, which is totally fine. Turn that on so I get 100%. Sucker Punch right into Entity, which is going to survive by the Sash? No, it just survives in general. Nope. Crit on the Tornadus. Uh, let's go ahead. Trick Room has two more turns. I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to Sucker Punch. Yeah, I have to pop Sash. If if uh, if Shadow Rider has the Focus Sash, I have to pop it. First and foremost. Terra Water. Okay. Protect on the Tornadus because we're winding down the Trick Room teams. The tri Trick Room turns. Sorry. I mean, it's the same thing. Almost. After you. They'll attack. They're going to use Astral Barrage. Which is going to unfortunately knock out Chi and Pao. Again, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's it's going to have to happen. Now we have an unusable move on Rauta. Which really sucks. Talent's now gone. So now Groudon can come out and play. Turn off the weather. Um, they have one more turn of Tailwind. I'm sorry, Trick Room. I now under speed, however, Indity might do after you, which means it goes first. Let's see if we can go for the double protect, and I'm going to go protect on uh, Groudon. Tornadus fails. It's unfortunate. I'm going to protect on Groudon. Yep, there's the after. Maybe I should have done Tailwind. I should have done that because, like, here comes Astral Barrage, which would give. Um, yeah, that was that was my fault. I should have done that. I should have planned for the future. This is going to be a loss. Because I can't outspeed that. I would only be able to outspeed it if Brick Room lasted one more turn. But unfortunately it does not. Because it doesn't, this is our game. So I'm just going to go ahead and Dazzling Gleam and S-Blades in case if I can somehow survive one of these, but I think um, I think that's a plus two on that Shadow Rider, which means I'm not surviving nothing. I miss, yeah, the misplay was for Tailwind. I should have done it. Like I could have survived it, maybe used Tailwind the following turn, which then gave Brout on a little bit more like ass assistant attacks, but it's like, no, that's not going to happen. I can't outspeed um, I, their Shadow Rider. They protect? Why? I don't get that. You are a plus two. You'd automatically knock out Fluttermane. That's for sure. I don't know about Groudon though. Were you thinking that I'm Captain Speed? I mean, that would be the case, right? 
and I might switch Fluttermane to be prepped in speed now, just so that I don't have to worry about having Tailwind, especially when it comes up to Battle Rider. Because I do outspeed it after the fact, so. Um, I attacked last turn, so I can do this and protect. But I believe Shadow Rider is gonna. It withdrew Shadow. What are they doing? Oh look, Archelodon! You're tiny, so tiny. Uh, are they that? Are, are they that afraid? I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe they are. Maybe this is the Trick Room variant. Maybe. Oh, if that's the case, I lucked out. I lucked out. I think. I don't. I don't know if this is lost anymore, guys. Archelodon is going to stand strong, but Incineroar goes down. I outspeed the Archelodon, I think. I do. Do I hit? I do. So it goes down. Now it's a two-on-one. Fluttermane and Groudon versus... The Shadow Rider in the back that's at half health, so he doesn't have Sash anymore. He is Terra Water, though. But does this matter? I mean, let's give it a shot. They'll protect. Are they just trying to wear out the sun? That would make sense. A okay, sun faded. Part of senses wore off, but it was a special attack boost. I don't th really think they needed to be afraid of anything. So they still outspeed. I live with 4 HP, are you kidding me? No way! I was sold that, I w that I'd lost. I, I, I was completely sold that I was I was done for. Oh my god, no way. Did they go for more bulk than anything? Like the calc show, that's some 100% like knockout on Fluttermane. Immediately. Were they afraid of like a speed boost or something? I don't know. It was a nice play with them, but it's like, I don't know. Weird. That's so weird. All right, we've got Rillaboom, Latios, Tiampau, Moltres, Demazenta, and Pelipper. This reminds me of the team that just recently won Stockholm. I wonder if it, I wonder if it's a carbon copy. Probably not a carbon copy, but it's, it's probably somewhere up there. Anyway, let's see how we're going to deal with this particular team. Uh, we do have Pelipper, so we will have to bring in someone that's going to be able to counter it. Unfortunately, I don't have one. So we'll probably need to bring in Groudon just so that we can have some sort of support to make sure that Hurricanes don't do a ton of damage. Uh, I do have Thunderbolt on Fluttermane, but then immediately after I use it, I have to swap out just so that I can take on something else. I think uh, Tornadus and Chien should come in first. Uh, Ogre Pawn to then let's do Fluttermane. We'll leave Groudon in the back. I like I really, 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 really want to bring in Groudon, but I don't think the Weather War here is going to be in my benefit. And if Pelipper comes out, my Bleak Wind Storms become 100% accurate. So it becomes a, a Bleak Wind Storm plus Sucker Punch into that slot does a lot of damage. Zamazenta and Chien Pao. This is Tornadus and Chien Pao. Okay. So this particular matchup, we've got a lot of cool things ahead of us. Dauntless Shield. Now... 
I don't want to do anything with with tornadoes for sure. I'm gonna tailwind, Terra, Sacred Sword, and that's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna Terra Sacred Sword. I'm gonna go straight into the Chim Pao. Chim Pao's probably also gonna Terra too. The reason why Sucker Punch doesn't do anything to Zamazenta is because it's fighting Fairy. And Fairy resists Dark. No Terra on their side. I'm gonna do this. Sacred Sword right into their Chi and Pao, knocks it down to its Sash. So maybe Icicle Crash into Tornadus. But I know that I'm not gonna take anything from. Uh, maybe the body press that comes out of uh, Zamazenta. He gets a plus one automatically for his defenses, so it's not going to be a bad thing. This, the, yep, there's the body press. Does not affect. And now we bring in Ogre Pond. We're all right. We're automatically losing one. So now we do this. Ivy Cudgel right to the Zamazenta. And I'm going to go ahead and sucker punch the Chi and Pao that could be doing an attack. Now, if they don't attack, that's totally fine. But if they do attack, they're going down here, which then it's going to equal them up. What the interaction is between Zamazenta and Ogre Pond, though, is a completely different story. I kind of want to know how that interaction is going to go. Protect on the Chi and Pao, that's good on them. They can't protect next turn. Is that up? Oh, double protect? Okay. All right, so they're trying to we uh, wear down my Tailwind turns. So that should have been turn three. Here's turn two. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go straight into what we did last time, but this time I'm gonna go for the double. I'm thinking Chi and Pao, yep. There's the retreat on the Chi and Pao. It's gonna bring out Pelipper. It's going to put a lot of pressure on to my Ogre Pond immediately. Sacred Sword, Ryan says Amazenta. It's not going to care about its defense boosts. And here comes the Ivy Cudgel. It's going to half the damage, but it's not enough to save it. Zamazenta goes down. Oh. My blood's pumping. Rillaboom comes out now. My blood is absolutely pumping. You guys have no idea. Okay, so Ogre Pond is now going to spike its shield. And I'm going to Ice Spinner right into the Rillaboom. Because I can't really do anything to Pelipper, but I also do not care right now. Because it can do hurricanes, right? I can't turn off the weather, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. But as soon as... Uh, Fluttermain comes in, that Pelipper is donezo. It can't do anything else. Uh, Terra goes over to the Rillaboom. Terra Grass. Okay. Uh, Fake Out's not going to do anything. Um, it could do Grassy Glide into Chien Pao. It does. Does it KO? It does. So probably follow me there should have been the play. Because then I could have gotten rid of the grassy field too. Caliper uses Hurricane. Okay. Now Tailwind's gone on my side, which is totally fine for the most part. Let's bring out Fluttermane. Hammer doesn't do anything, so I'm gonna follow me here and I'm gonna Thunderbolt there. So now Grassy Glide doesn't do anything to Fluttermane. And if I don't knock out this Pelipper, Ogre Pond's done for. Grassy Glide. This is a heavily neutral hit. Like, there is nothing. Thunderbolt. Gets the one hit KO. Let's go. Thank you, Fluttermane. Let's go.
Out comes Chin Pao. Follow me. Do Thunderbolt. What's the matter, Rillaboom? Can you, uh, not do anything else? Are you Choice Banded? Bicycle Crash? I took this one. That's absolutely what it is. If that's Choice Banded, uh, Rillaboom, I can't knock it out. This is- th I don't have Raging Bolt. This is a Flutter Man. Using a move that it is not weak to. Um, Rain's got one more turn. Grassy Glot or Grassy Search has two. That's not super effective. Let's try it. Grassy Glide. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. A lot of people are using banded Rillabooms now. That's interesting. I see the appeal, but I was really hoping I was a little bit faster than the Chi and Pao, but most of them do have cap speed, so obviously that would happen. Not bad though. I did make the misplay with Chi and Pao though. That was where that battle could have been in my favor if I would have followed me then, went straight into um, Pelipper, or not Pelipper, but Rillaboom. Would have been able to knock it out. But Pelipper would have been able to knock out my Ogre Pawn, I think. So I, I may have been in a, like in a worse position, but not to where I couldn't see myself coming out of it. Because I do outspeed Pelipper still. So it is... I think in terms of like the, that particular match, that was probably a sacrifice I should have been willing to make. Get some out of a priority move, and I bring out my, my own Pokemon that can be able to either double into... Uh, Pelipper or one goes into Chi and Pao, the other one goes into uh, Pelipper with no problem. Which probably would have been the, the best bet, would have forced them to protect, and I would have gotten into the Pelipper. Unless they double protected, which I would have done the same thing. Good match. Yeah, we got Ho-Oh, uh, Weezing, Reggie Gigas, <laughs> Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, and Rillaboom. Okay, Ho-Oh, I haven't seen yet, so this is going to be very, very interesting. If you guys listen to the podcast, uh, JT and I talk about our picks and he picked Ho-Oh. He didn't go over all of his sets, unfortunately, which is something I would have really would have liked now. Most likely we'll have Sacred Fire. So let's go ahead and bring in Tornadus, Ogre Pond. We'll bring Fluttermane in the back so we can deal with the Dawn. We can also deal with Rillaboom. We can also deal with Tatsugiri. But we're also going to bring in Chien Pao again so that we can deal with uh, Regigigas. We should be able to KO the Weezing. I'm not sure because this is the Alolan form. No, this is the Galar form. It's Gen 8. I don't know if it's going to have neutral, er, natural, neutralizing gas or something else. We're going to stick with these four though because I don't want to bring in Groudon and then have Ho-Oh come out because it's fire flying and then Groudon can literally do nothing for that Pokemon. Fire like resists itself and flying completely ignores ground and I have no rock type moves on Groudon. So even though like in this session Groudon's like been a really really good help, he hasn't really been able to help out lately. <laughs> Which is really off-putting. Okay, neutralizing gas. So now everyone ha does not have their abilities. So first and foremost I'm gonna go ahead and use Rain Dance. And I'm gonna spiky shield. Prankster's gone, but I'm still the fastest Pokemon on the field, and I'm gonna lower down the damage that Ho uh oh can do. Take the turn to protect so that we don't take any net unnecessary damage, and we're gonna lower down the damage that Ho uh oh can do. Because especially into uh oh, toxic spikes. Okay. Especially into Ogre Pond. Oh, you're gonna be annoying. <laughs> Alright. Who, who's uh, who's coming out for me? Fluttermane. Gotcha. Okay. 
poison? That's totally fine. Oak or uh, Fluttermane could be poisoned. They could be put on a timer. Tailwind, and I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt that Ho-Oh away. Question is, are they going to have someone with Trick Room? That could be the case, but with the Pokemon negating other people's abilities. Like, Whirlwind is going to be able to swap out my team and get them all poisoned, putting them on a timer. So I should be focusing on that Pokemon over there. But I'm also afraid that if I completely ignore Ho-Oh, he's going to be able to rock the team. That switches out. Okay, so now abilities come back. And we're going to see Regigigas. Slow start. Tailwind because Prankster is now activated again. And Thunderbolt. It does not knock out Ho-Oh. That's okay. It'll activate the Citrus Berry. Whirlwind again. Yep. You're kind of going to be a, a, a little annoying. Which is totally fine. Totally fine. Pokemon comes right back out. Gonna get poisoned. But now I can do... Uh, this. Now, what is Ho-Oh's ability? Does it tell me? No. I wish it did. Like, if it pops up on the screen, it should tell me. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use our Terra. And we're gonna go straight into Regigigas. With Drew Ho-Oh. It's gonna bring right back out. Yep. To get rid of the slow start. But the rain is up. Regigigas, while he is really tanky, he's still incredibly slow. Liquid Storm. Speed fell. I can cudgel. That's going to do half damage in the rain. I should have done wood hammer, but that's okay. Flash grip. Let's take down Tornadus. And that is Black Sludge on uh, Weezing. We'll go ahead and bring out Fluttermane because he's already poisoned. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and just do Moonblast. I kind of want to put all of my pressure into Regigigas. That might not be the play. Let's go Shadow Ball into that slot, and I'm going to Wood Hammer into that slot. That way I don't worry about the, uh, the, the weather damage. Plus I could swap out someone here. But they're not going to be bringing in Ho-Oh for the time being, so I should be fine. Protect. So that's unfortunate, but I'm hoping that I'll still be able to knock out Regigigas regardless. Because Woodhammer should do a ton of damage with a plus one to attack. Bop. Yep. Goes down. And I shouldn't suffer too much for recoil. Okay, so this these guys are not badly poisoned, so it's not gonna be as hard of as harsh of a tip. Thankfully. Uh oh, comes back out. Okay, we're gonna go out. Double into that slot. Uh, actually, let's go double because he protected last turn. He can't protect this turn. 
Yeah, it's double into that slot. Let's go for it. Why not? Shadow Ball. And that's a considerable amount of damage. And we dropped a special defense. Ivy Toucher comes in to finish the job. Question is, is Whirlwind going to come out again for uh-oh there? Or are we going to see something else? We can't be burnt. Sacred Fire is no longer in effect. So embody out. Oh, we did that without the plus one. Oh, love that. Uh, Earth power. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. Why? Well, I have to be. First and foremost, but now the rain has stopped, which is great. Water well, rain's now poisoned, which is going to be very unfortunate. That one's gone. But now we got Chin Pao. And now Ho uh Oh takes neutral damage with Ice Spinner. And their last and final Pokemon is going to be Willaboom. Oh. Sort of ruin. Grassy Surge. So now Grassy Glide is available. Question is. Which one am I going to see? It's 2-2. Two, two. I'm poisoned. He's not. I use my Terra. So if I didn't use my Terra, it would be perfect for Chi and Pao to have full rain here. We're going to protect. I'm, I'm thinking that Fake Out's going to come out. It's going to come out to the Chi Yu. Because he can't do it to the Fluttering. There's no way. Fake Out, Chi Yu. Or Chi and Pao. Not Chi Yu. Chi and Pao. I have a cat, not a fish. Shadow Ball into that slot. Probably Assault Vested. Still a considerable amount of damage. Uh, Sacred Fire into the Fluttermane does knock it out. Which is unfortunate. How unfortunate. Okay, I don't think they use their Terra yet. No, I don't think they have. It would, it would show me, like, Ogre Pond has the fire symbol. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and hit Rillaboom with the uh, Cracker Punch. So this Terra is going to go straight into Rillaboom. Okay. Make it water. Okay. It's not a bad Terra type for him. Sucker Punch. Ah, uh, not enough. Out comes the wood hammer. That's a lot of damage. Oh, real boom fainted. Let's go. One on. <laughs> the one with one Pokemon. So the Pokemon that we were most worried or not so worried about, we left alive, which is unfortunate, but. I meant to replay, like, retreat Fluttermane and then bring out someone else. But with no one to do that's poison that's going to take away the spikes, it kind of makes it hard to come up with a, a decent combo to do with it. So, as unfortunate as that is, um, yeah, I don't really think we have anything else. So, let's move on. Okay, we have Ice Rider, Ice or Iron Crown, Entity, Urshifu, Incineroar, and Water Ogre Pond. Okay. So how do I deal with this? Because this could, I could see this being extremely annoying. Extremely. I kind of want to go with Screamtail Fluttermane. Yeah, let's go Screamtail Fluttermane, bring in Groudon in the back. That way I can swap out Screamtail because it's going to, we can do Imprison to shut down, to shut down Trick Room. But if we don't use Chi and Pal, we're going to have a very bad these then. Yeah, these. And then that way we can kind of deal with Ice Rider in our own way. It's not going to be the best, but it's the best option that I have. We tried the open before where we had Screamtail and Ogre Pond and did Imprison, but they were still able to outlive us to the point to where we it like it felt like we did nothing, especially after Ice Rider Terra's into something that I'm not prepared for. If it's water, I have Wood Hammer, but it's been shown before to not be able to KO now, so I'm very, very, very hesitant to, to do that. Um, we have Ice Rider and Incineroar. 
Okay, so in this particular thing, I don't think that we really have anything to worry about. I mean, we could still imprison to stop. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to imprison here. We're going to Terra. And I'm going to Sacred Sword into the Incineroar slot. As I have to use the Terra or swatch out or swap out to Fluttermane, which then allows them to set up a little a little bit more. And if this is Glacial Lance, this is gonna do a ton of damage to Chan Pao, or would do a ton of jam a ton of damage to Fluttermane if I swapped it out. Not so much on the Screamtail. But I'm glad that I did it this way instead of the opposite way. Because now I stop Trick Room being activated if they're go for that. And I can now put a lot of pressure down going this way. The Fake Out goes into Chin Pao, does not affect it. Sacred Sword goes into that slot, does not get the KO, but that's totally fine. It can be a two hit KO every day, all day. In prison, so we're going to stop Trick Room if Ice Rider went for that slot. It did not, went for Glacial Air. It is a live in Screamtail terms, but it's not for um, anyone else. He's going to get a boost, which is totally fine. Now we can bring in Groudon and we can hope for a hit for the double. Because right now Screamtail has done its job. It can't do anything more. So now Screamtail gets its speed heightened. It can now protect, and I can go Precipice Blades and hope to get the KO here. Keyword is hope. I would Terra Fire, but I can't because I had to use it on on a uh, Shin Pao. So I really think Terra Blast for Groudon, even though this is his last episode, I think Terra Blast for Groudon is a terrible idea. I really do I do need another hit. I don't know if it's gonna be Heat Crash though, but I could just have it on there and just hit weaker Pokemon. Uh, Terra's gonna come out and it's gonna go straight for Ice Rider and it's gonna become Dragon. Okay. Interesting. Protect on the screen tail. Rest of his blades. Gonna miss someone. Hopefully, didn't miss Incineroar. Didn't miss Incineroar. The Pokemon I did not want it to miss. It missed. Knocked off the clear amulet. Glacial Lance. It's not gonna do anything to Scream Tail, but it is gonna knock out Groudon, which is gonna be very unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but I can't do anything about it. It's super unfortunate. But now we set up people in the back. So now that's a plus two chili nay. And I'm my only hope right now is that these two can pull it off for us. My only hope. Uh, they could swap, obviously. But right now that's my only hope. So we'll do for the double dazzling gleams and just hope for the best. One of them is going to get swapped out, though. I don't know if it's going to be in the Incineroar or the Ice Rider. They are kind of looking at a barrel of a shotgun that is going to be doing just a ton of spread moves, even though they're 100%, it does about 75% of the damage. I think that's how the math works. So it's it's really, really up in the air. Uh, I might have stopped Trick Room, but that doesn't really matter if they still outspeed me or still do so much damage that even though that I outspeed them, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so this is pitiful damage. That was a crit on the Incineroar. Here, have have a day, another dose. But that one, that one was a little bit more hard hitting. Thank you. We just, we, <laughs> with Screamtail, we pop the, <laughs> the, uh, the, sash the sashes, if it was needed to be popped still. <laughs> And we just knock him down. 
Iron Crown. And here comes Indity. Ogre Pawn. Okay. Extra energy. Special attack was heightened. Prison still up. I out speed. I think we just go in for the double. And hope for the very best. Honestly. We'll go in for the double. We none of them have sash, so I know that. Follow me kicks in. Totally fine with that. Absolutely okay with that. Here, have a dazzling gleam. That affects both of you at the same time. And here have a dazzling gleam. It nope, okay. Back on cutter. Into the flutter main. It will get the KO, but it does take two. But now I have a very lonely scream tail that does literally nothing. <laughs> this little kumquat. <laughs> um, does nothing. Can't do anything. Um, yeah. Here, have a little bit more chip damage. Have, have one, more, one more of these. Take one before I go. Oh, no. Ugh. Though, while I've been able to turn off Trick Room, and I think a lot of people that use Ice Rider now knows that the strategy is out there, that they have to play kind of differently now. And Ice Rider is tanky enough to just straight tank two or three hits. It's going to be very, very rare and seldom that you actually have to do a Trick Room. But if you're not planning for it, they're just kind of like, nah, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to brute force my way through this and we saw it in stockholm like ice rider said oh, i'm far behind here let me just plow through the next four and just win because i'm that strong it's insane dash in my man let's go see how he does uh delarin zapdos gouging fire tornadoes incarnate landris incarnate as well as water ogre pond how should we handle this one so Fairy Steel type is Zashian, so Ogre Pond's gonna be able to get through it no problem. I can also use Grout on to like lend a hand because it is Steel type and there's no ground coverage there. However, Zapdos is fighting flying, so he's gonna be able to ignore that. If I had like Rock Slide, it would be a little bit different. Um, Tornadus is on that side of the field, so I do have to worry about being outsped. So I'm gonna bring in Chien Pao Tornadus. Ogre Pawn, and then I think I have to bring in Groudon. I don't think I can bring in anybody else, to be honest. I'm kind of almost forced to, because I can't bring in Ogre Pawn, because Gouging Fire is not going to take any damage from it. No, I mean, it's, it, it, it is, but it isn't. It's going to be taken neutral. Breaking Swipe wouldn't do anything to do Flutter Main, but Heat Crash is going to knock it out anyway, even though it's off typing. I shouldn't say off typing. It's not super effective. It's neutral. But Groudon's like my best bet. So we got Gouging Fire and Zapdos. Which is Tornadus and Chien Pao. Okay, so we got Protosenses activate on Gouchin Fire, so speed was activated. So what I'm gonna do instead is go ahead and Tailwind. And I don't think I have to use my Terra, but I'm definitely gonna go right into the Zapdos to maybe hopefully knock it out first turn. So here we go. Ice Spinner goes right into that Zapdos. And it does get the one-hit KO. So I don't know what the Zapdos is built for, but I don't... I guess it doesn't matter. Take a little hit. Breaking Swipe. It is going to do a little bit of damage to Chien Pao. It's also going to lower down its attack. Kind of sucks, but now we can activate Rain Dance and Protect. That way we don't take too much damage. But here's our boy, Zashian here. So we're going to rain dance and I'm going to protect that way I don't take another breaking swipe and I can get set up with like the 100% uh, bleak wind storms, which isn't going to do a whole lot, but maybe lowering them with a, like, a little bit of priority. Maybe they'll uh, not priority, making them think that I don't have anything probably best. So they protect on Zashin, which is totally fine. Owl goes on the gouging fire. And the Zashian. Now, like, that's the one thing that kind of bugs me. If they're protecting, that attack shouldn't 
You, you, I know it's a buff, but it's like all in pop. Like it doesn't work that way. Uh, obviously it doesn't. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, that's neutral now. Okay, so we're gonna swap to Ogre Pond now. We're gonna do a little bit of damage to both of them for uh, Bleak Wind Storm. It's not gonna do a ton of damage, but now with this, I ignore uh, Behemoth Blade. And I also resist whatever Gouging Fire was going to do, which might have been Breaking Swipe. But now I put a lot of pressure on Zashin, especially after that. The minus one speed. Oh, he hits like a truck. Okay. Well, that didn't work, but I saved, they saved, you know, Chien Pao. That was dope. Right? <laughs> I saved him. Okay, now we're gonna bring out Groudon. He's gonna switch the weather. Uh, Tornadus is not gonna go ahead and protect. I'm gonna Terra. And I could go like this. Oh, I didn't realize that um, Gouging Fire was also weakening its ground attack. Ground attack. So I need this fire. So that would make sense. But I'm going to do this. And now I resist Fairy and Steel. We're also going to Terra. It's probably going to go to the Zashian. It would make sense. Gouging Fire. Okay. It's going to become grass to, re to resist the precipice blades. All right. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Now, if Zashin goes down here, um, Gaijin Fire is going to get hit for a lot. They protect on the Zashin. Did he protect last turn? No. I think so. I don't know. Precipice blades. Not very effective against the... Uh, Catching fire. Okay, breaking swipe on the ground on not too much. Town one's now gone. We're gonna do Bleak Wind Storm. No, we need to get set up for our future turns. So Tailwind, and I'm gonna get Terra Blast on Zashian. I need to be able to outspeed them, even though both of them have a speed down. Zashin retreats. That's not great. Out comes Ogre Pond. That's also not great. That's terrible. Kellen. Terra Blast goes right into Ogre Pond. I mean, that was almost a one-hit KO. I don't know what anyone else is saying. Uh, Breaking Swipe does take down Tornadus, which is why we decided to go ahead and do the Tailwind and not like the, ble the Bleak Wind Storms or anything like that. Because now I can come in with a Chien Pao. And I outspeed everything on that side of the field now. I don't have to worry about it. Um, Sucker Punch to... Terra Blast. Let's do that. Burning Bulwark. Okay. So double protect. It is. Okay. So like Punch is going to fail. Terra Blast is also going to fail. And it's not going to leave me with a burn. Now, I've worked, like, for some reason, people were telling me Burning Bulwark doesn't work halfway, or it doesn't work all the time. I think you guys were just, like, kidding me in the comments, but, like, it, it seemed to always work for me. I'm not sure. You guys will have to probably let me know again. Follow me. So it is going to ignore the Sucker Punch. Which is really unfortunate, but it's not like I could have done anything anyway. Here comes the Terror Blast. Right over to Ogre Pond, which is going to knock it out. But here comes the Breaking Swipe again from Gouging Fire. That could also be Heat Crash. Oh, Breaking Swipe. It's not 
gonna do a ton to chi and power. It is gonna make it so he, that he takes or that he does less damage, but is it enough? That's the question that we all need to ask. Is it enough? Uh, we're gonna protect here, and I am going to go right. Last turn of Tailwind. They're they're gonna double protect here. I'm gonna sword stance. I'm sword stancing because I know they're gonna do the double protect. So there's one. Here comes Burning Bulwark. Yep. Saw that. Absolutely saw that. I'm gonna do this. Sunlight faded. Tailwind's gone. I'm gonna sucker punch. The gouging fire. And I'm gonna press of his blades. No, I'm gonna just terror blast straight into Zashian's face. Just gonna go straight into there. I think I have enough to be able to get the KO here. I don't think I outspeed them any other way. Some card just oh, so you're gonna howl instead. Game with blade goes right over to the Chi and Pound. So what is Gouging Fire going to do? I think it's going to howl. It would make sense. The Sucker Punch failed. Yeah, there's the howl. Not a bad combo. Um, but I think I read that. But here comes the Terror Blast. Straight to Zashian's face. I'm a plus two now. And you're not surviving that. Now I think I'm safe to say that I got this match because I might outspeed Gouging Fire. You can go the bull Burning Bulwark, but I think I outspeed. No, Howl went before Terra Blast, so but they can't lower my attack. Let's go. Let's go. They can't lower my attack to Breaking Swipe. I have the clear hand. Let's go. Oh. We went three and three this video. I was on a such a good roll. And two of them I made mistakes on. Absolutely. Uh, the third one, I technically don't really know how to do with Ice Rider still. I'm just admitting that all my calcs I think were wrong. And because I think they're wrong, I am not as confident as dealing with Ice Rider. I can deal with Shadow Rider. I can deal with Zashian, Zamazenta, uh, Eternities, <laughs> Eternities. I, I can deal with everyone else. It's Ice Rider. And I think it's only because Ice Rider is so bulky that I have to plan two to three attacks just to knock it out. And I don't really have anyone on my side of the field that's going to be able to slow it down. So one of the options I was thinking of was maybe using a Moongus or having someone that could just deal with the fact that Ice Rider is there. I thought Incineroar would be able to do it, but everyone's using the, the clear amulet, so they can't lower down the attack. I thought Groudon would be able to do it, but unless I saved the Terra specifically for him, he's not going to be able to do it. I like Screamtail, but Screamtail's not an attacker. It's only meant to to focus down on the hard trick room teams that are built for ice rider so i have four pokemon that that do a lot more i have a restricted legendary that's built to do damage but it feels like i'm not doing anything to protect but it, it kind of feels like the king if that strategy makes sense to anyone else i'm not protecting my king and the king could be the one that's doing the most amount of damage so it's, it's something that I'm going to have to think about a lot more. Since today is the last day for Groudon, I don't think I'll have to think about it very much after this. Because now we get to use Kyogre, and Kyogre might have a way better matchup against Ice Rider. I'm not 100% sure. You and I are going to figure that out together, which is going to be super exciting. Let's see how it goes. And that, Pokefans, is going to be the end of today's video. Since it is the end, it's there's nothing else I got to say but to roll out the outro and the red carpet for you. I'm hoping you've enjoyed the show first and foremost. If you did, please leave a like on the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. 
Let me know down in the comments down below of what you guys thought the matches went today. You can be as harsh as you want. It's criticism at the end of the day, and I'm gonna do my best to learn from my mistakes in this video going forward. I do answer any and all comments left behind, and I hope that you take the time to you know, just let me know what you would do in certain circumstances. If you are a brand new viewer of mine, just came across my channel. Hi, hello, my name is Matt. I am a new VGC competitor for Pokemon. I have taken the last 14 seasons to teach myself how to play uh, competitive VGC, and I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've made a lot of uh, really good plays. At the end, you can find a end card or a playlist, and it can show you my entire journey from start to finish. The entire time that I've been recording this is not only to teach you, but to teach me. Every competitive player will probably tell you to review all of your matches so that you can try to make the, the less mistakes and that you can learn from them and to make better ones in the future. You can also get a little bit more analytical about your Pokemon teams and how you do it after that. So that's why this whole, zero, this whole series exists. Even with me being as goofy as I am, I am still trying to learn everything and I'm hoping that I can impart some knowledge onto you, even if you may already know it. But still, everyone likes watching Pokemon battles and there's not a whole lot of people that do what I do, which I think sets me out apart. And if you're a returning viewer of mine and you agree with what I just said, why not hit the subscribe button? If you're a brand new viewer and you like that, you know, hit the subscribe. It does help the channel out a bit. It does help the videos perform a little bit better. Everything on the screen should have lit up at one point. You know, that is a feature that happens on YouTube now, which I'm very happy for. I have seen it happen, so I'm hoping you guys get to see it. And if in case you didn't, I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Like, comment, and subscribe. All of them should have lit up. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on and set that to all. You can be notified every time I upload. I will be uploading every day this month, except for the days that I have to work or things come up yesterday. I know I'm not going to be releasing a video on Saturday. So the rental team that should have went for Saturday is going to be pushed to Sunday. We're going to say goodbye to Groudon, but we're going to say hi to Kyogre and we're going to relearn a completely new team with a different new style. But I'm hoping to have some really cool results. Buckle up, let's have some fun and let's see where we go. Thanks again for watching and until tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you then.